Hey YouTube, USA Second Amendment here with a video for you guys. As you can tell by the title, this is a Sig Sauer P938. Uh, it's like the 238, just instead of 380, it's a 9mm. Uh, this is not my gun, it is my brother's gun. Show you guys on the side here. So you see it says 938, 9, I guess that means 9mm AGF. I have no idea what that stands for. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah I do. Army green foliage. I pretty. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I know it's army green. Um, and then ambi. Ambi uh, safeties on it. Um, it's three inch. Uh, all the small specs down here. If you guys can see that, single action only. Um, SI. I'm not sure what that is. But anyway, let's move on. Okay. All right, so in the box, you get your manual, you get your sticker, you get your orange earplug, you get your standard pamphlets, you get all this stuff in pretty much any SIG that you buy. Um, and then you get your standard paperweight if you guys are looking for a use for these, watch my video, uh, Flying with a Firearm, and uh, you can make use of these. Or you can lock up your bicycle when you ride to school with them. Um, really, they're just ridiculous and a waste of money because of lawyers and crap like that. Um, let's see. Uh, what is that? All right, let's see. Gun oil. Okay. Uh, it does come with a holster. Um, this holster honestly sucks, but it gets the job done far as, uh, you know, for the range or until you get a holster that you want for it in, it works. So I'll put that back there. All right, let me put you guys back here and we will get the gun out. All right, so here you guys go. Just let you guys look at it overview here. So my brother got this gun at a gun show in Richmond, Virginia. And it was $629 before tax. Um, at that same gun show, we saw a, uh, another 938. Not this uh, army green one, but just a plain black one uh, with the plain grips at another table they wanted $7.99 for the same gun and in my opinion this one is actually an upgraded version because it has the army green it has this over mold grip and it also has night sights so I don't know if you guys can see that but it has the Siglite night sights um, uh, they are the combat style, so they have a little lip right here that you can rack it on your uh, on your belt, on your shoe, whatever, um, if you need to do a single hand manipulation. Um, the gun is really comfortable in the hand. We have not shot it yet. This grip does wonders for this small of a gun. It does wonders. Now, I don't have big hands, so I can actually get all three of my fingers on there. Um, without the magazine, without the magazine, you get two fingers and then your pinky sort of hangs off, but it comes with one magazine and it has the extension on there from the factory. Um, something about this magazine, if you push it up, right, it won't actually click. You got to give it, you got to give it a little pop and then it'll actually secure, secure in there. Um, it is single action only, so it's, uh... 1911 style and I say 1911 style because um, there's no bushing up here uh, it's the same style takedown lever uh, it does have the ambi safeties like I mentioned you just flip up so carrying this uh, he's gonna carry it cocked and locked which means around in the chamber uh, you have rounds in your magazine um, hammer is back and then it's locked in other words the safety's up so upon drawing thumb comes here Disengages the safety as you just saw there. I'll do that again for you guys. There you go. Positive click. And then you're good to go. Bang. So, um, very cool gun. Very nice gun. Um, has a good bit of heft to it. 
uh, but it's small. I mean, if you guys can see this, there's my hand. And I have a small hand. I'm a small guy. My wrists are six and a half inches, and my ring finger is a size eight. It's a women's size. So, very uh, small gun. Literally can fit in your pocket, fit on your ankle, or inside your waistband. It can be a backup gun, or it can be your primary carry gun. So there you go. If you guys have any uh, questions or comments, uh, leave them below for me. Uh, if you have this gun, any experience with it, let me know. Hopefully I'll do a video for you guys, an update once we get it to the range. Um, and then uh, I'm going to do a comparison video also, so stay tuned to my channel. Um, between this gun and the CAR CW380. Um, I know they're different calibers, but they fall into the same category. So you guys stay tuned for that video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a good day.